back guys hey Game Boy Zero here so um, I have a buddy of mine in the past he's been known as Beard Big Gamer but uh, he uh, taken a little bit of a hiatus a little break from the social media stuff uh, but him and I we've, we've kept in touch we've grown close we talk about games life retro things and uh, we've, I, I think we've grown to be some you know modern day pay, uh, pen pals I was gonna say PayPal. In a sense, uh, yeah, we send each other gifts, and uh, I don't like to call it payments because that's that's not what it is at all. I'm an, I'm a graphic artist, and, and sometimes I'll I'll, I'll do uh, work for someone. In most cases, I don't want payment. Uh, they'll send me a care package. So in this case, uh, I received a care package. I'm a little hot, sweaty, because I've been running around today, and it's here in Florida. It's super duper hot. Uh, he sent this. A 13 pound package in the mail today quite huge and I'm gonna open it up and I know there's a few games in here because he also sends some things for my Game Boy micros my little my kids very kind to do that so and I wanted to share this unboxing with you to kind of just share just share real life stuff go get away from the scripted things and I, I love doing the, these and I like to document them so enjoy with me so right away we have a lot of packaging bubble <laughs> takes care of his stuff make sure there are no notes or anything that I am missing I don't see any notes but I'm gonna go ahead and begin with the first one uh, hopefully this this uh, focuses on here but um yeah this is a Raphael uh, he takes toys and he kind of re paints them to make them look like this and this is fire as heck he actually I have another one he made so I am a huge fan of Mikey and then the second being uh, Raph and he did yeah he did this one too and it just it looks so good compared to the uh, Nickelodeon you know out-of-the-box ones that look cool but not as cool as these yeah I'll brighten her up a little bit I want it to be right here Anyway, yeah, going back, this is this is pretty cool. So I got Raf and Michelangelo first, and now I have Raf, uh, which is really cool, man. Looks super solid. Side for now, and move on to the next. I don't see any notes, so I want to make sure. All right, next one is uh, this one's fun, uh, but yeah, this one. This is the Super Mario Maker Mario, uh, and my son would, would love this. I think I'm spoiling some stuff, but. Um, this is from the P. No. Wait a minute. No. Alright, this is a DualShock 3, but I don't have a PS3 and cable. So, that may have spoiled this. Spoiled. St <gasps> Yo! Ah, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't have it. I don't have it here. Twilight Princess. I love this. Oh, this is so cool. It's unopened. No, it's opened. Okay. Look at that. I love Amiibos. They've gotten so, they've gotten so pricey over the years. Um, it's hard to collect them anymore. And I want to collect them not for the value, uh, monetary value of them, but just because I like them, you know? It, it kind of sucks. No! Oh, this is cool. Uh, Majora's Mask Skull Kit. Not one of my favorites uh but i love the story and the art behind it uh, very look how cool that is that is stinking cool but oh <laughs> i don't know there's supposed to be notes in here i don't see any notes eyeballs on everything i wanted to do this for so long i'm gonna put it in my fridge the lost world i've been looking for the original Jurassic park one do I have to read the first one to read this one? I don't know, but I, I'm very happy to have received this one. And I've been looking for it at Goodwills. I can buy it on Amazon and a bunch of used places, but it's not as fun as either receiving one like this as a gift, uh, in this case, or finding one in the wild. I already see a little surprise down here uh, with a little foreshadowing. Uh, the kids are gonna love this game. Hello, neighbor. Oh, he said that there was a loose game in here. Let's see. I love this too. SpongeBob or Nickelode Nickelode Nickelodeon Kart Racers. I think I'm gonna like this one a little better. <laughs> but now 
Uh, what do I do? Uh, I have all my inputs full in here, but I'm gonna have to make some room for this PS3. I already saw the PS3. I'm so ecstatic uh, to have a PS3 again. Um, and I was thinking about the other, I was like, do I want a PS3 again? I think I do. Oh, yes! Such a good game. My first, uh, the first game I ever really owned on my own was the Game Boy, uh, it was Jurassic Park 2 for the Game Boy. Music on there is so cool. The music on there is sent the more Super Nintendo game. <laughs> All right, funny story. I gotta send this to Justin. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. I just sent this out as a gift to somebody. Literally sent it out and then picked up this package. Oh my gosh, dude, that's so funny. I got it. I can't wait to tell Justin. That is hilarious. So I got the game again. Hey! Ah, <laughs> oh, full circle. It warms my heart. I love it. Alright, another Super Nintendo game here. <gasps> Ooh! I remember Angry Video Game Nerd going over this one time, just thinking that this would be cool to have. The sticker label is kind of coming off, but I could fix that. Um, Zelda BS. Uh, this is like an online thing that you can only play at a certain time um, while other people were playing. Yeah, Zelda, Link to the Past, and Zelda. <laughs> I just saw something else in there. <gasps> oh, this is cool! This is so cool! Alright, now I have Link's Awakening for the Switch. Oh, I'm so excited. And a running gag that he keeps sending me is pasta. For some reason, he keeps sending me pasta. Um, and I use it. <laughs> I, I always use it. The last piece, my friend got me a PS or gave me a PS3. And that's pretty stinking cool. Nice to have one of these. And I had one for a while. It burned out on me. It was my favorite console, honestly, before the Wii U. I remember trading somebody for one and I guess they had trade remorse and they wanted it back and I gave it back that was that was a little tough that was I was quite perturbed on that one but just didn't care for ever since you know you move on but uh, it's nice to have a ps3 again anyway that was a quick video of things from my buddy oh uh, man so many cool things I I can't even can't even uh, explain how excited I am especially for this one, I, you know, it's funny because I did tell him that I was trading it, so he must have just felt the need to send me another, and that's very cool. Um, it just shows how cool the retro community can be, or or is, you know, there's some some toxic players out there, and and, and that's fine. Everybody has the right to be the way they want to be, but um, the retro community is one of those communities that um. You know, besides talking about retro games, it's just cool to grow up together, right? With things that we've played in our past and just say, hey, remember this game? And then you just kind of have stories to tell and share uh, about them. So I appreciate you sharing uh, this time with me. I I'm stoked, stoked, stoked. Can't wait. All right, guys, um, this made me feel like the 90s. I don't know about you. Oh, if you haven't already, uh, please like, share, subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. You got me Bye. feeling like the 90s.